All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto. In this video, I wanted to show you how to go through the process step-by-step step of registering to vote for Project Catalyst using the Euroi Chrome extension. So a lot of people are using Euroi, they wanna get started and vote for Project Catalyst. Now with this video today, I'm just gonna show you, walk you through the process step-by-step. Step. There's a couple things that we need in order to get started. So of course, first thing we need to do is making sure that we have the official Euroi Chrome extension. Here we are at the Chrome Web Store. I've got Euroi typed in in the search bar, making sure that it's the official one, saying it's offered by EuroiWallet.com. We'll go ahead and click on that if you haven't done so already to make sure you can install the extension. After doing so, you can go through the process to restore your wallet. In this instance, I really like how Euroi allows you to use a 15 word recovery phrase for Euroi wallets, or now you can even restore your Daedalus wallet using your 24 word recovery phrase. Something to keep in mind is that if you do have your Euroi Chrome extension linked to a hardware wallet such as a Ledger device, unfortunately in this voting round, Ledger hardware support is not currently supported for voting. So just something to keep in mind, unfortunately we don't see that functionality yet. Hopefully we do see that functionality in future voting rounds. And another question is also, is this available for your Roy Mobile? It is not currently available for your Roy Mobile. So this is gonna be on the Euroi Chrome extension. If you are using Euroi Mobile, you can go through the process of installing the Euroi Chrome extension on your computer and just go through the process like we're showing you here today. So a prerequisite in order to be able to vote is you'll need 3,000 ADA. That is the minimum amount required to vote. So we do have that here available in our wallet balance. I'll go ahead and click on this wallet here. This is what we're gonna be using for this video today. And then what we can see is the option at the top, we've got voting. So let's go ahead and click on this tab at the top bar. And it's saying in order to register to vote on fund three, before we begin, we need to make sure we complete the steps below. So first it's saying we need to download the Catalyst voting app. Now you've got the Catalyst voting app for both the App Store and the Google Play Store. So you wanna make sure you just download the appropriate version for whichever type of mobile device that you have. After you've downloaded the app, open the Catalyst voting app and click on the complete registration button. So we're gonna go through that process here in this video. Once you've went ahead and downloaded the Catalyst voting app, we'll go ahead and click on register. So the next screen that we see here, it's asking us to please write down this pin as you will need it every time you want to access the Catalyst voting app. So this is a pin specific to your wallet, which you'll be using to register to vote. So you wanna make sure you have this written down and stored in a safe place. After you've went ahead and written down your pin, you can confirm that you wrote it down by clicking on the option at the bottom. Nets is asking us to please enter the pin as you will need it every time you wanna access the voting app. So it's just asking us to confirm. What I'll do is just go ahead and type in that pin. After you've went ahead and typed in the pin, we can go ahead and click on confirm down at the bottom. And next, it's asking us to enter in your spending password. So this is gonna allow us to generate the certificate for voting. So the spending password is what you created when you first went through the process to set up your wallet. So I'm gonna quickly go through and type in my spending password. Once you've went ahead and typed in your spending password, we'll go ahead and click on next to confirm. And the screen that we see here, now it's gonna ask us to confirm the transaction by typing in our spending password. This is gonna allow us to register in the blockchain the certificate which is generated for voting. As we can see here, it shows the amount in the transaction is zero, so there's no ADA that will be leaving your wallet. The only thing that you should see as a confirmation is gonna be that transaction fee. So what I'll do is go ahead and type in my spending password after you've went ahead and typed in the spending password, we can confirm by clicking on register down at the bottom. Okay, and we can see the screen now. It shows us that the following QR code is the generated certificate required by the Catalyst voting app to be able to participate in voting on Cardano. So it's recommended that you have this stored in a safe location. It's saying in the Euroi extension that they suggest taking a screenshot as a backup. So you can do that or you can download this as a PDF, uh, whatever you feel like is gonna work best for you. You just wanna make sure that you have access to this so that you can vote in the future when voting starts for Project Catalyst. So what I'm gonna do is quickly go ahead and save this QR code. After we've went ahead and saved the QR code, you can confirm by clicking on the button below. 
So after we've clicked on confirm that we have saved the QR code, that's it. We can now see that the transaction has taken place. There was no ADA that left our wallet balance. It's just the transaction fee that we had to pay to register to vote. But that's essentially it from the Uroi Chrome extension standpoint. Now what we'll have to do is head on over to the Catalyst voting app on our mobile device. And that's when we'll be able to scan that QR code so that we can complete the registration process. So we're taking a look at the Catalyst voting app now on our mobile device, and we can see the main page. It's showing at the top. It gives us our voting power. It shows us our rewards. And then below that, this orange tab, it's asking us to complete registration to receive voting power. So that's what we'll need to do. I'll click on the orange tab to complete registration. And then the next step, it's asking us to register to vote. So we'll have to start with the registration process by scanning that voting QR code. So I'm gonna tap on the option to scan QR code. And then what we'll do is go ahead and scan that QR code that was generated. The next option is asking us to decrypt our QR code. So what we need to do from here is type in that pin that was generated when we first went through the process using the Uroi extension. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly type in my pin code. After you've went ahead and typed in your pin, we can go ahead and click on decrypt and set access code. And that's it. So registration is in process and access pin set. So registration will be complete at March 5th, 2021, and your voting power will be determined by your ADA balance in the wallet you registered with. All right, so guys, that is pretty much the entire process of being able to register to vote for Project Catalyst. Once we're done, we can go ahead and tap on Got It down at the bottom. And you've successfully registered to vote using the Uroi Chrome extension. All right, everyone. So that is what I have for you all here in this video today. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it valuable and informative. If you did, please be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Also, if you do have any questions, I will do my best to try and help. Just go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. So thank you so much for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to drop a like for me before you head out. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.